This will be a short video that shows that the ADALM2000, aka M2K, oscilloscope can analyze an interesting circuit the same way that a bench oscilloscope can. The circuit itself is called the Humanolite and was described by W2AEW's video number 187. Uh, he goes into great detail about how the circuit works, and I don't intend to, to replicate that, but he uses his bench oscilloscope to, to explain the circuit. And the point of this video is simply to demonstrate that you can do the same thing with the M2K. Here's the circuit. What it does is power a single white LED from a, a AA battery that might actually be partially depleted. And so uh, the forward voltage of a white LED is usually well over two volts. So for the circuit to power it, 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 it sort of works like a boost converter and it repeatedly charges and discharges uh, an inductor and thus produces voltage above the, the supply voltage of the partially depleted AA battery. I'll put a link to W2AEW's video below. Um, one thing to notice or one thing to know about the circuit is, is that the, there are two transistors, Q1 and Q2, and they turn on and off uh, in an alternating fashion. So when one is on, the other one's off for the most part. And that creates an oscillation that, that lets the inductor be charged and discharged. But again, see, see uh, W2AEW's video. It's very, very good, and his channel is well worth checking out. Here's a spice simulation. The green trace is the voltage across the, the LED. So you can see it's not being lit continuously. It's, it's pulsing at a, at a high frequency. It, it's, of course, it's being pulsed at a frequency above its VF and above the supply voltage. And uh, other traces, the red and the blue, I think, um, show, show the bases of the two transistors. And their alternating behavior is what makes the circuit work. W2AEW explains all of this in, in his video, and, and he uses his bench oscilloscope to, to show the circuit in operation. So what we'll do next is just connect the, uh, the M2K to, to the version of the circuit that I built. I liked it so much, I actually built a flashlight out of it. And, um, and then we'll see that the M2K can observe the sig signals very well. In this case, you know, working as well as a bench oscilloscope. The, I'll mention the, the light that the flash, flashlight produces is not incredibly bright. It produces a useful amount of light. It's enough to see, you know, to find your way around your house when the light's off. Um, but that's about it. It's, it's most interesting just because it, it lights, and lights a white LED from such a low voltage source that you can even use a depleted AA battery. So here's how I hooked this up. I need to connect 1 minus, 2 minus, and ground to the circuit ground. And I did that with the help of a breadboard just to connect all of those things together and then and then run them to a ground connection on the circuit, the black clip lead. And then other than that, um, 1 plus and 1 minus are just connected to the two bases of the transistors by, via the jump wire shown, one of which is a clip lead and one of which isn't. If I can get that to focus a little better on that connection there. And that works pretty well. Here's what Scopy shows. Channel 1 is connected to the base of Q2, and channel 2 is connected to the base of Q1. And you can see how they alternate being on, which is what makes the circuit work. Now I'll disconnect channel 1 from the base of Q2 and connect it to the LED. And adjust the amplitude there. And that's the LED, you know, cycling on and off. I suppose it's interesting to check the voltage. Let's measure measure the voltage. So you can see the peak peak to peak voltage is almost three volts, which is enough to power the LED. In the video, W2AEW um, does a single trigger to capture power on. We can do that too. So I'll flip the switch. And there we are. So I really do uh, encourage you to check out W2AEW's uh, excellent video where he describes exactly how this circuit works. Um, I hope you found this interesting, and uh, I'll stop the video here.